We start with breaking news. Tonight we can report there may be a big break in the Blue Diamond Show Club shooting that left one dead and several others wounded. A man is in trouble for leading police on a high-speed chase and is facing charges of possession of marijuana. But it started when an anonymous tipster named him as the Blue Diamond Show Club, Show Club shooter. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson has been piecing this all together and joins us live from outside the jail with more. Angelica? Brett and Heather, I'm live outside of the Allen County Jail where police booked James Ellis Starks III. Now, this all started when someone called, an anonymous tipster called police and said that a man that was in the Blue Diamond shooting was standing outside of a home with a gun. Now, when police got there, the man jumped inside of a car and led them on a high-speed chase through two counties. Police say it was the man's girlfriend who was behind the wheel. She managed to avoid stop sticks and other attempts to get her to stop for most of the chase. She finally pulled over on County Road 750 in Adams County. Tonight, we can tell you that James Starks III was the man who was identified by that anonymous tipster. Police say he was the passenger in the car, but he has not been charged in connection with Sunday's homicide. He's not even described as a person of interest. At this point, he's only been charged with possession of marijuana and nothing more. Now, this all stems from a Sunday morning shooting at a strip club on the northeast side of Fort Wayne. Police say a suspect managed to get a gun past security and a metal detector and then open fire. 22-year-old Marcus Rogan was killed and police say three others were hurt in the shooting. Not long after that crime, police released a grainy surveillance video and have been working hard to track down the suspect. Now, one other thing to note, police say during that chase, James Starks threw a gun out of the car and they have later recovered that near that location. And it will now be turned over for ballistics testing. But for now, reporting live in front of Allen County Jail, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.